told him I was gonna be something That broke shit made me sick, big appetite with a weak stomach Ain't had nowhere to go, nigga, I was lost in them streets running Then I hit Rodeo just to get stylish, ran through 300 Just happy I did it, nigga, nobody ever gave me none what is up guys welcome to another video as you can see we're back in the bedroom home in North Carolina spent the last week in Connecticut getting all my stuff together moving out of that apartment doing all that so I showed you guys a couple workout videos hope you enjoyed those but now we are back we are home for the next couple months couple weeks not really sure everything's up in the air the main purpose of this video is just gonna be to show you guys uh, the gear that I've gotten you know over the last four years I don't have everything here there's been a lot of stuff that I've thrown away or given away to friends and family and stuff but I'll briefly go through my sneaker collection as well last four years I've accumulated a ton of sneakers not just basketball sneakers I've been really into you know Adidas sneakers ultra boost all that kind of stuff so and if you are one of the people that commented on the last video um, by the time that this one goes up I am gonna send you something out I have so much stuff and I appreciate every single person that commented so I'm not gonna pick and choose I'm gonna send everybody something because I have that much stuff so with that being said you will get your package probably in like the next week or two so stay tuned for that and again guys thank you for all the support on the channel so with that being said, sit back, enjoy the video, and uh, leave a comment down below with what you guys want to see in the future. Oh, he's found a home, haven't you, boy? He's laying on everything. All right, so this is just a brief, you know, this is just kind of how everything looks piled up. All right, guys, we're going to get into the gear first, and then we'll get into the shoes after. So I'll leave a timestamp. This is when you're going to watch if you're just watching for the shoes. But if you want to see the gear, I'll quickly touch on each item. First thing we got are the winter coats right here. So these are actually uh, Nike. So, so a little backstory. Uh, we were Nike my first three years. Yeah, until my junior year, we were Nike. So everything we had, Nike, 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 no, no other brand uh, was allowed. And then we switched to Adidas my last two years. So have a little bit of both stuff, Nike and Adidas. Really, really warm storm fit as you can see and you know just literally heavy duty coats uh, next thing we got are the compression stuff so so these are nothing fancy these are just obviously just undergarments so every day for our team when we're practicing we all have to match so we're all gonna wear the same exact color undergarment blue is like our main color so we have a ton of blue ones yeah this is a long sleeve one then we have leggings here so leggings there blue and then just a couple more back there. So those are the first two things. So we got coats, we got undergarments. Next thing we got are the Ultra Boosts. So these were from this past year sneakers. So these are like our cross trainer sneakers. Every year you get a pair of cross trainer sneakers, which are just walk around shoes. So these can pretty much be used whenever you want. Uh, obviously not for basketball, not for weightlifting. Uh, they're just a designated shoe for when we travel and we're on the bus and stuff. So those are the shoes that we are expected to wear. So we finally got some Ultra Boost. Uh, every year, you know, we got Adidas ones, but Ultra Boost are the nicest, I think so. Now we also get a pair of weightlifting shoes i don't have those on me i don't even know what i've done with those anymore but those are just strictly for when we go to the weight room so you get those you get your cross trainers like the ultra boost and then you get basketball sneakers so we'll just jump right over to that so this is just the only pair that i have here these are the hardened be's so these were honestly like my, one of my favorite shoes to wear not super expensive either i absolutely loved these shoes so in terms of basketball shoes you get to choose we'll get a whole list and then you get to pick out which ones you want out of the list because everyone has a different preference so typically in the beginning of the year you'll get three pairs and then obviously as you start to like wear through them and they get holes and they get messed up and stuff you can get new ones these i actually got on my own they're the same shoe but just a different color combo so these are the hardened mvp editions so the shoes that i wore all mac tournament again you get three pairs supplied by the team and then if you want you can go and buy your other shoes as long as they match someone with the colors right you don't want to go too crazy so that's what i did but now on to let's keep the shoe theme so you get slides here so these are adidas just basic slides these are from two different years so every year you get a pair of those um that's just simple we got some hats so you get some little accessories so we'll go with got a little q hat here and then a beanie and we also had another one we had another beanie with like a puff on it, but I don't know what to do with it. So I'm gonna have to find that one later. But yeah, we'll get some winter hats, uh, you know, some baseball caps, whatever. So just some little accessories that are cool just to wear whenever you want. The next thing, we got some shorts. So they're all scattered through here, but some shorts here, every color. These are our practice shorts actually. So these ones are gonna be practice gear. So this one, two, three here are all part of our practice gear. This is our blue color. This was our white color, 
and then the gold color. So my senior year, we had three different uh, practice sets. So that's just what you're expected to wear every day for practice. As a team, we would decide what color we were gonna wear that day. So, you know, we're rotating between the white, the blue and the gold. So yeah, those are just practice gear. And now I get to keep those shorts. I wear them all the time. They don't have pockets or anything, but those were like our practice shorts. And we got practice tops, obviously that matches to go with that, but I don't know where those are right now. Really love the design, the three stripe life design, the cute basketball on the side. So these are an old pair, like the Nike Elite design anyone's you know retro Nike Elite design so those are from my sophomore year I think so moving on staying with the shorts theme these are some of my favorite like walk around shorts so we got these here are just you know they're like a little bit thicker you've got them in blue and in black and they have pockets so these are like climb warm they're like kind of like cotton shorts not everybody loves them but I really like them so you know just basic short there same thing in black so and then two more pairs of shorts so these were just weight room shorts and then these were practice shorts one year as well so q q so in terms of shorts again you get your practice shorts and you'll get your weight room shorts so pretty much everything you'll see the common theme is that you get something that's designated for practice something that's designated for the weight room and then they'll give you some kind of accessories that you can kind of do whatever you want with everything has a purpose you know it's not just a bunch of free stuff because there's certain things that you can't get unlimited amounts of you know there's only so many that they have uh, in stock. So the next thing we got are some sweats. So again, now we get sweatsuits. So sweatsuits are probably one of my favorite things to get. I love a hoodie. I love a good pair of joggers. So, so they have the, the logo there, Adidas on the bottom, and they're just like tapered joggers. So, you know, they got the zip at the bottom. Yeah. Just a pair of tapered joggers right there. Nice. And then this was the other sweatsuit. These are all right. I'm not crazy about them, but just a pair of gray. So to go with the sweats, we also got sweatshirts. Uh, these are probably my favorite items because I keep them year after year, most of them at least. So first off, we got the gray, the gray zip up here to match these. For every sweatpant we get, we get a matching uh, zip up. So whenever we travel, we're all wearing the same exact sweatsuit. Um, whether it's shoot around a game, we might switch it up. So if we're on the bus wearing gray, then when we go to the games, we'll wear the blue one. So our team is always in sync. We're always color coordinated matching. That's a big deal to our coaches is that we're, you know, looking the part and that we're all a team so that we're wearing the same exact thing. Even though I was one of the ones that used to break the rules with that a lot, especially with my sneakers. I used to love just wearing my like my slides around instead of putting my sneakers on. So uh, Wex, if you're saying this, I know you used to hate when I did that and I would wear my own socks, but you know, I, I tried to follow the rules as much as I could. Next one we got, this is probably my favorite zip up that we've gotten, Q basketball. It's like a knit material. It's got the Adidas on the side. So that one was a bonus. So when we went to play UConn in the second round of the NCAA tournament in 2018, we got that for the trip. So again, if you, we win a lot and we're going to different trips and these seasons getting extended, there are times where Adidas will send us some more gear. So that is the perk of winning also is that, you know, when you go to the MAC tournament or you go to the NCAA tournament, they'll hook you up with some new swag so that you're, you know, you're looking good headed to your tournament. So that was a pretty big gift from Adidas. We got this one here. This is from this year. So this, this top matches those swag. Sweats. So this is a different material here. It's got the Adidas again zip up, a zip up style. So just a jacket. Pretty nice, pretty nice. This one is a Nike. This is from my freshman year. I absolutely love this thing. I don't know why, but it's just like sentimental to me a little bit. So that's that one. So a lot of the stuff that I got my freshman year, I don't have anymore. I either threw it out or you know gave it away to somebody. We got a hoodie here. This is from this year. So just a basic one to be a hoodie. You know, everyone needs a, a cozy, comfy hoodie. So we got one of those there. This is pretty similar. This is from a couple years ago, I think. So this is more of a dry fit material. So a little bit more, uh, a little nicer, I'd say. This actually might've been the one we got for Yukon. I can't remember, but this is Quinnipiac logo. This is a really nice uh, zip up. So just a basic zip up on the back. It's got Quinnipiac basketball on the back. So it's mostly zip ups and sweats, but we'll get a hoodie every now and again too. But you know, the zip ups just usually look a little bit nicer and a little bit more uh, professional. Now we're getting on to the crew neck. So we get some crew necks here. This is one from this year. So this one I really like again, the light blue accent. So just a crew style here. This is from a couple years ago, Quinnipiac. This is like cotton, so it's super comfy. It's got the number on the back. Um, and then this is like my coaching thing. This is like my favorite thing this so far. So for this year, it's like a white quarter zip. It's like a golf, you know, it's a golf polo, but Quinnipiac and it's a quarter zip. So that's super nice. Too. Last thing onto the shirts. First shirt, this was sent by Adidas. This is what I was like talking about before. So we went to the NCAA tournament. We were expected to wear this. Adidas sent this. I don't really know what this means. Creators Unite, but it says Quinnipiac down the side. So now this is just like a training shirt. So this is something we would wear into Coach B. Uh, here we go, Quinnipiac basketball. So these are all just shirts. I love this color, the light blue Quinnipiac basketball bobcats. 
And then this one was also from this year, like this. All right, the last thing I'm gonna show you guys are the backpacks. So every year we get a team backpack. This is actually one of my favorite things. I know I've already said three other things were my favorite, but I love a good backpack. So every year we'll get a backpack, you have to travel with the team. Everyone's expected to have the same backpack on. You can wear whatever you want to class, but when you're on the road and stuff, you know, you're supposed to have your team backpack and duffel bag. So when we're traveling, this was like my Nike. You've got the Nike Elite bag. So this thing is like huge. Put the patch on from the tournament. These are all the Nike ones. I don't know where the other ones are right now, but Nike, Nike. So these are just some examples of backpacks. Oh, here's the other one. Like this is an Adidas one. Adidas Quite Back Basketball Backpack. And then they also provide you with duffel bags. So when we're packing for trips, you know, you're not using your own luggage. You can if you want, but we get custom luggage. It says Quinnipiac on it, has your number on it, uh, rolly bags, everything. So when you're going through the airport, you don't have to worry about packing any of your stuff in your own luggage because they provide it. So like this bag is Quinnipiac bag. It's massive, like it has wheels on the bottom. This is like a good sample of, this is what we get, 21, how's my number? Quinnipiac basketball. And uh, that's pretty much everything. So I hope this gave you guys a good little inside look into you know, what the gear is like in terms of playing D1 sports. So obviously, you know, we're a mid-major school. So imagine all this stuff times three if you were at a bigger school like Texas or Duke or something like that. So they have the budget and they can afford it. But for me, this is all I need. This stuff is amazing. I'm so grateful that I got the opportunity to even you know, play on a team and then let alone be spoiled with all this. So I mean, you don't want to take anything for granted. You're going to school for free. You're getting all this free gear. Um, you know, it really is a pretty sweet deal. So you want to make the most of every opportunity that you have as long as you're part of that team. Next part of the video, I'm going to show you my sneaker collection. So first pair, we'll start with a couple basketball shoes that I still keep. Um, there's certain shoes, like I said before, that are super sentimental to me, so I'll never throw them away. These are the Harden MVP editions of your basketball player. If you like Adidas shoes, again, we were sponsored by Adidas, so you have to wear Adidas. But I really, really, uh, these have grown on me a lot. So these are the James Harden BE MVP edition, check out the bottoms. I bought these with my own money. I absolutely love these, wore these almost every game my senior season. So these are really, really nice. Huge fan of the Harden collection. Uh, I have Harden's, I had the Harden two, three, volume four, all of them. Next pair is gonna be, these are some pure boosts. I'm actually gonna get rid of these. I'm gonna sell these. So if you want them, comment down below. But uh, these are just Adidas pure boost shoes. I have these in like a white color too. I think we got these as our track shoes one year. So these are just, you know, just random shoes. I don't really like them that, that much anymore. I already showed you the Ultra Boost. Um, these are the ones from the team. So just basic Adidas Ultra Boost, gray color, you know, matches with everything. A pair of Converse. So I have two pairs of Converse. I have these and I have an off-white color, but everybody needs a good pair of high top converse, so some chucks, right? Put a pair of jeans, shorts, whatever you want to wear them with. So go always a go-to, really uh, inexpensive. So love a pair of white converse. Next one is another pair of Ultra Boost. So these are one of my favorites actually, uh, the maroonish color. So really different. I don't really, I don't know if I've ever seen anybody with these, honestly. So Ultra Boost, you'll see, I have about five or six pairs of Ultra Boost. They are by far my favorite shoe. Um, you know, I work out in them, I can run in them. I can pretty much do everything in them except like agility stuff because the ankle support's not great. All right, next one. These are pretty special. These are the Adidas NMD R1s, I believe. Yeah, R1s with the gumdrop sole. So these are some of my favorite shoes right here. These only come out on special occasions. So anything that I have that's really white, well, not everything, the Ultra Boost are dirty, but I try and keep these as clean as possible. So I only wear them um, on certain occasions. So every time we had like a dress down day for coaches for basketball, I would wear these because you know a really nice white shoe uh, really makes an outfit pop. So Adidas gumdrop sole. All right, coming back to another pair of Ultra Boosts, triple white Ultra Boosts. They're not that white right now. I need to wash them, but you know, these shoes I've had for the last three years, these have been my go-to Ultra Boosts um, in terms of, you know, the color scheme, white. I love them. Wash them and they come out pretty good. So again, favorite shoe right here, Ultra Boost. Next one, I don't really wear too much anymore. Nike Roches. These are the triple red. I got these like three years ago, maybe three, four years ago. Um, and I'm getting rid of these two probably eventually, but I really loved the triple red color. I was into all the bright stuff uh, a couple years ago. Don't really wear them too much anymore, but you know, these were a staple back in the day. All right, another basic shoe that I'm selling. Another one of these, these are just like Adidas Originals. Uh, I liked them when I first got them. I think they were pretty cheap, so I just picked them up, but I don't really wear them that often, honestly. So I'm getting rid of these, just basic Originals. 
All right, summer shoe. Now we're into the summer shoe. So we got some Vans. So I have a few pairs of Vans, which you guys are going to see. These are like a summer one. So they're like the lower cut van theme going. We got the checkerboard Vans. These I'm selling. Uh, I really like these when I first bought them. And then I realized I barely have anything to wear with them. I mean, they're, they're nice. I like them, but I just don't wear them enough. And again, I'm trying to downsize. I'm trying to get rid of a lot of these shoes. Uh, I've realized how much money I've spent on shoes in the last four or five years, and it's actually a disgusting amount. These are top five favorite basketball sneakers. Uh, these are the Kyrie Ones, right? So the red, white, and blue edition. Red, white, and blue is like my favorite colorway uh, ever. So anything red, white, and blue, I automatically am drawn to. So when I saw these and I started playing in them, these are amazing. So I pick up in them all the time, but they didn't match our uniform, so I knew I couldn't wear them in the game with the red bottom. Uh, whenever we play pickup still, outdoor, indoor, whatever, I bring these because Kyrie's, these are my favorite. These aren't going anywhere. All right, these are the Nike Zoom Pegasus. They're looking a little dirty right now, but they are a really clean white shoe. These I actually got only a couple months ago, and I've been running a lot lately, as you guys have probably seen throughout the vlogs. Not right now, because my knees hurt. I've been running in the past few months, and these have been my go-to running shoes. So highly recommend for anyone who's uh, looking for a light shoe to run in, Nike Zoom Pegasus. All right, for rails, I feel like these were another popular shoe, kind of like a Roche, uh, where they weren't too expensive, and everybody kind of has them. So these are just basic black and, black and white uh, Adidas, you know, the Pharrell's. So I got them in the blue as well. This is the one that I probably wear the most. This and the white one that I'll show you next. Uh, these are just super lightweight. I love walking around in these. These are like one of my favorite shoes. Just slip on and they're really easy. With Vans. So now we got the pink Vans here. Light pinkish color. Nice for the summer. I really like these. I'm not getting rid of these. We're going to keep these. And then I have a black pair that I don't know where that is. I had a solid black pair somewhere. But uh, I'm going to hold on to these. For Boost. So we got the rainbow colored Ultra Boost here. Um, you know, just another pair of Ultra Boost. Pretty cool little pattern. I think I got these for my birthday last year. And Pharrell's, so white Pharrell's, again, a little bit dirty. All my white shoes need cleaning right now, but these are probably my, you know, this pair and the blue pair I really, really like. Got the green accents on the back. So if you're on a budget, these are like less than a hundred bucks now. All right, the final two shoes I'm gonna show you guys, these are Kobe's. Now you're probably saying, Jen, these are really, really beat up. Yeah, I know they're beat up. They got rips here, a rip here. The bottom's all worn. These are old shoes. There's a reason for them. Again, I told you guys some of my basketball stuff is really sentimental to me, and these are one of them. These are the shoes that I played in in the Sweet 16 game back in 2017. If you type in Quinnipiac Women's Basketball Sweet 16, you'll see all the highlights. We made history, Cinderella story, made it to the Sweet 16, you know, beat Miami on their home court, beat Marquette at Miami, and it was a historic season. So anytime, you know, that you make history, you got to keep the memorabilia that you get from that game. So these are the shoes I wore, and I will never throw them out, no matter how old or beat up they get. These are going in the shelf in my uh, future house. The red, white, and blue Ultra Boost with the white accent. So again, I love white Ultra Boost and then putting a red, white, and blue colorway. I just couldn't resist getting these. So these are my favorite shoes at the moment. A little bit dirty again, but these are my favorite. They got a little gold accent on the back here. So love these. But that is my shoe collection. I hope I kept it super brief. I didn't want this video to be 10, 15 minutes of me bragging about how many shoes I have. Again, I'm looking to get rid of some of these. So if you're interested in anything, DM below or check out my Poshmark page. I will put it up on the screen like over here or over here. I don't know. But that's all my shoe collection. That's the gear haul. Again, being a college athlete, you get a lot of perks, a lot of cool stuff that comes with the territory. But again, you're working super hard day in and day out with all the schoolwork, practice, games, weight room stuff. So you're earning everything you get. And I recommend to not spend as much money on shoes as I did during college because you just don't need them. And I'm telling you, in a couple years, you're going to regret that you bought half of them. Some of these I still like, don't get me wrong, but I wish I hadn't spent as much money and I had invested and saved more money because that's what I'm doing now. But anyway, I hope you guys enjoyed the video. Be sure to like, share, and subscribe if you did, and I'll catch you in the next one.